Y'all ready? Whenever you are. And we're back. I was going to say that, but I was going to change it. I was going to change it up. I was going to change it back. I was going to change it Yo, yo. Damn, now, that, you, now I got to use that? No, you got you. Cause Go ahead. You did it, you were like, yo, yo. Yo, yo. It's, it's the Think of Six Heads podcast. We're here. Hi. Right. Ready? So I'm going to head to and we're back. So I, I think that's my thing. And we're back, guys. Dominican John in the motherfucking building. Thinking with six heads. Took a little, uh, a little, a little longer than a little break. It's been like a month and so, you know, no, vacation, it vacation. It's been a month. Yeah, it's been like like definitely three, been a three month. Three weeks. Three weeks. Three nah. weeks. Bro, yeah. when did you go to but Georgia? You had a vacation. I, I was in Florida yeah. longer. This guy went to Puerto Rico a week after. We skipped. We, we rolled skipped. in stones. So, yeah, we've been we're out back. for we're a back. month. It's, it's been heavy duty, you know, but the boys are back. Monthly chatter is here. It's Dominican John. Who am I here with, guys? You here with your girl Soli. And I'm gonna say, remember, I always remind you to shout out your the Styles. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Facts. <laughs> Follow my page at Styles <laughs> underscore by underscore Solimar. She on real. You got inspire and motivate Delhi over here. King Rivera. Did you say your name? Yeah, I started. All right. So, who, did okay. you want to say my name? <laughs> uh, I was gonna you say my name yet. for me. Do, do you want to like nah. say my name for me, Daddy? Say your tag. <laughs> Ooh, and let's start the show. Mm-hmm. And we usually start it with the ladies, so. Oh, this this is, I love it. I forgot how question. So, guys, since, you know, thinking with six heads. Uh-oh. If your dick made oh. a sound every time it got hard, <laughs> what would you want that sound to be? It just ding, ding, ding. It just, just said, God, he's not ready. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a while, right? Holy shit. I wasn't ready for that one either. Wait, what was it? Can you repeat it? If your dick made a sound every time it got hard, what would you want that sound to be? Let's get ready to rumble. A sound? That's not ready, a sound. Ready, fight. Uh, anything you put on here is a sound. That is true. Oh, I, you're right. Um, That's not fire? Or, or it's time! Oh. No? No one's USC fans? Okay. Fatality. Boom. These are words. I'm expecting like quack. Like things you can hear. Well, I said ding, ding, ding at first, but then no, I like the ding, ding, ding. Oh, okay, so I, yeah, I stuck yeah, yeah. with ding, ding, ding. Can I do like a gun? Like, pow, pow. <laughs> Damn. Wow. What kind of gun is that? You said you're just small, <laughs> my boy. <laughs> uh, what, was, said, pew, what, was the, no, what was the one that 6 9 said? Damn. Dang, 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 dang. All right, you're in class. Remember high school days? Ever got a boner in class? That Shit. I don't know. Uh, sound? Not me. Sound it's a hard not one. <laughs> Yo, my boy. He said he'll do the boxing. Yeah. That's a hard one. Yeah, I probably go what ding, 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 or something. Boo, I said that shit. You gotta say something else. Yeah. No, you don't. If, no, it's if two t- guys. No, if two no guys we gotta get creative, sound, okay? If two guys wanna have the same sound. And the same orgy, in the same group, in the same. T- okay, I'm sorry. Too early, too early. Yeah, two Facts. ding, ding, dings. <laughs> okay, two ding, ding, dings. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. Wow. Yeah, but how about if you having sex? It, you guys both had. If you guys both had sex with the same shorty, and then she's like, "Damn, I heard that sound before." Ding, ding, ding. Or oh, if in the same room. No, I don't want to say that. Don't yeah, I'm out. out. Yeah. Next question. <laughs> next, qu- next question. I was just. I, I, I should have said like my shorty. That would have been easy cleaner. <laughs> next but like you know, because then the shorty gets horny when she hears the sound, and then you know she's hearing the wrong sound because we both had ding, ding, ding. So in the same what room. if it was your shorty making a sound when she got horny? What sound would you want her? Horniness to make. Can she just like moan? <laughs> <laughs> Can we keep basic? Like, yo, that's like a sexy moan, yeah. I'm like, oh shit, time to go. Right? I don't facts, want I don't facts. want I don't want nothing crazy like Okay, you're you're in Maybe your fatality will work at that point, right? Fatality. <laughs> that's, that's what you like. <laughs> Damn, she's horny. <laughs> Keyword, time to go. <laughs> time to kill her shit. So what's worse, looking jealous or crazy? Jealous. Not crazy. Jealous. Crazy. Why? Jealous is something you can control. Crazy sometimes is something you can't control. Because you're born crazy, but you're not born jealous? So crazy is worse. Nah, I just feel like, I mean, if you look crazy, it's just like, oh, that motherfucker's crazy. But like, if you look jealous, jealous is... I don't know. I feel like jealousy makes you look weak. It makes you look like insecure. Insecure. It makes you. It's, it's it's just a bad look, especially for a guy. It's a very bad look to be jealous. So would you would rather them tell you like, "Yo, your girl, your girl's crazy," or "Your girl's jealous." 
Your girl's crazy, no? I don't think so. But I think I, some I men like confuse jealous. jealousy and think the girl's crazy. It could. Could. Nah, because I mean, sometimes levels. crazy is something like... like or like stab Bro, there's you. levels of crazy okay. that like you're born with. That's just there's a chemical imbalance going on there. So what's something crazy? Consider crazy. Running over someone's foot. Um, then we have on the a shorty. Because you're jealous. A shorty, fucking. Yeah, you could be jealous and send a text. Yeah, mad at you for being polite to somebody. Like if you were like in public, held the door for somebody. Oh, so that's what crazy. Not that crazy. Yeah, if they start like bugging out. That's like what I'm saying. That. So crazy's worse. I think crazy's worse. I'd rather shorty be like jealousy jealous. can not, be yeah, controlled. Because not me being jealous is like, damn, I seen you like her pictures. Yeah. Me being crazy is I'm gonna go on every girl's profile that you follow, check up every single picture and all the likes on there, and make sure you're not on there. That's crazy. So that is crazy. Jealous so I think, yeah, I think is better than worse. crazy. I'm gonna make sometimes. a fake Instagram account, so post naked photos, so you, so you can it. like all the you photos. Jealous was worse. Yeah, I guess. And okay. I said crazy. Uh, All right, I guess crazy is worse. Yeah, because crazy, you could play with your life. That's what I'm saying. Crazy. I, but I it, kill also, us both. Nah, it depends <laughs> on what levels of jealousy and craziness. Because if it's up there, it's up there. What, what what kind of craziness have you seen in your life? What kind of craziness? In a relationship? Mm-hmm. Damn. Um, I remember one time I was like arguing with like one of my exes in the car. And he was like, I'm going to crash this car right now. And I was like, go do it. Do it. Fucking do it. That's like the craziest. But did you mean it? Yeah. Oh, I was so fed up. Oh, you were like, bro. Yeah, I was like, bro, I don't even want to be Take in this car with you no both more. Both out. Yeah. I was you like, go, go for I it. Go. go for it. Fuck it. Just do it. Hell no. Damn. I'll probably just dip. You ever think about the lows? And like you're like, damn, I was really bugging. Yeah, I when I was tripping. younger, like, yeah. You think about the roles and like past relationships, like yeah, nah, what niggas just bugging. Was I a church girl? Yeah. I'm still a church girl, just not like crazy religious. He says, "Where's your skirt and where's your Jordans, your your flights?" Yeah, no. I don't think you'll really see me in skirts like that. <laughs> that's a, that's not church girl. Am I wrong? Yo, I'm sorry. Aren't those the Pentecostals? <laughs> What's up? <laughs> <laughs> the ones that wear church skirts, really long ones with the Jordans. With the Jordans, the flights. Oh, I thought you were talking about the jeans. Long, at, the long hair, tiny ass earrings. The ones that low key be the freakiest. Oh, that's shit. how it be. You have experiences, bro? You want to talk about? <laughs> next question. <laughs> next question, next question. He said, I plead the fifth. Nothing? Nothing? Listen, the whole world wants to know, and this is for the fellas, what do men provide? What do men provide? Depends on the situation. What's the situation? What do men provide? I mean, are you... In your relationship? Are you a woman? Are you the... So you're talking about in a relationship? You're talking about marriage? You're talking about, do you have a kid with this person? Like, there's... Yeah, there's, it's situational. There's many yeah. different levels. It's, yeah, it's situational. Like, what I may be required to provide for one girl might not be what I'm required to provide for another girl. I think you're trying to ask, what's the ideal... Yeah, like, what's my ideal perspective? Yeah, that's what, I think that's what you're trying to ask. Yeah, because based on... I know some girls, like, didn't grow up with their dad. I grew up with my dad. What do I see in him? Security, financial stability, um, like, support. Do I look for that in a guy? 100%. Is that ideal for every woman, though? I feel like it would be ideal for, for a smart woman. For somebody who's, who's smart, yeah, that would be the... The go-to thing because, okay, you get hard dick and bubble gum, but then other than that, what else do you get? Is it bazooka? <laughs> <laughs> bazooka, bazooka, bubble gum. Get that bazooka. <laughs> <laughs> um, damn, I was gonna say. Damn, I forgot what I was gonna say. Fuck it. So we stay with security and what else? Yeah, so I was security. Um, financial like, stability, think, yeah, stability. Um, support, support. I, oh, say, I, I remember I, what I, I was going to say. Oh, and strength. Like, oh, when I can't open a freaking jar, I go to Fidel. Like, babe, I can't. I've tried. I did the <laughs> bang, bang, the bottom, try to twist. It doesn't work. I need strength. <laughs> Imagine I can't open that shit. <laughs> so the other part is, I see the... She's like, here, I can't do it. She does it. I loosened it. I loosened it for you. <laughs> I, I seen a video that says, if, if I was to bring a man, a hooker, and a chef, what do women provide? Like, why would he need a woman in his life if he has multiple? Well, here's the thing. Ooh. 
I you woke talk, you up? You, nah, you're talking about the average regular schmegger female or a wifey because, yeah, I get what he's saying. When I bring you a hooker and a chef, like, what do you need a, a, a woman for? Emotions. That's if you're just having a regular schmegger shorty. But if you really got a wifey, if you really got a boss a woman, there's a lot more they're going to bring you and provide than... Cooking, yeah, bro. Because you're not gonna be fucking twenty four seven. You're not gonna be eating twenty four seven. You know what I'm saying? What are you gonna do? There's some Those times where you're so busy or so stressed that you don't even got time to eat. Or fuck. Oh, there's always time for that. <laughs> 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 there's never too, not, there's never not, too busy for that. No, you have a rough hey, I could miss work. a meal, but I mean, shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You heard it here first. There's always time you for a quickie. You first. You saw what he said. He said, "Keep the ch- chef." It's Just true. bring me the hooker. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, that's what I got. All right, you have a rough day at work. You just wanted someone to talk to. Who are you calling? The, sh- the hooker or the, the chef? Damn, I, you can't say your wife. It's situational. <laughs> no? She's not in the category. Uh, uh, no, the this chef. is a DJ. This is the for chef. DJ. The chef. The chef. The chef. DJ, what's your answer? I answer would need both, you know what I'm saying? Because <laughs> the chef can make me a meal that can make me happy. But then the hooker can make me happy in other ways, you know? Yeah, but you know what? I feel like the you chef might be able listen. to learn. The chef will listen while she's cooking. Is she you really might listening? Be able to, you might be able to learn a lot from the chef. The hooker can listen while you she's might, sucking. You might be like, oh, she shit, I didn't hooker. think about making this recipe this way. But you know what? If you got enough game, you're getting in them chef's drawers, too. <laughs> it, it could be a two What if it's one. a grandma? <laughs> You do need grandma's <laughs> cooking. Look, grandma's yeah. cooking is the best. You're thinking about it. <laughs> he said, can, AJ, nothing but a number, bro. I can see it right through the glasses. He's thinking. AJ, nothing but a number. Oh, yeah. What were you going with that question? I didn't ask a question. That was. Uh, that wasn't a question? No, I just said, who do, you, who do you want to talk to when you have a rough day at work? The hooker or the, the, the cook? Oh, you're just adding on I to got, the hooker. I got a question. Part. I got okay. a question. Because for me, I'm emotional. I want to talk wifey, like, well, hubby, because I'm emotional. Like so a, who's the hubby, the chef, or the the hooker? Fidel. Does Fidel cook? Yeah, I can't cook. I can't cook. <laughs> He's made me platanos before. <laughs> wow. I got, next question. <laughs> I got a question. What's a tattoo that you autom- automatic see? You see, and you're like, damn, that's a red flag. Anything demon, Ooh, like skulls, goat horn, fucking tats, fucking uh, anything demonic. There's a no-go? Red flag. No-go. Red flag. Any name I tattoos and I, titty tattoos. I was going to say names, but the only thing is, like, how about if it's, like... I don't care if it's a kid. Yeah, that's a, that's a red flag. If you have too many footprints of your kids, because, you know what I'm saying? I, you got seven footprints. Tramp stamps <laughs> low-key are a red flag. You said I said that, that. that. I seen on Facebook where someone was like, oh, did your parents ever get a, ta- a name of your... Oh, did your parents ever get a tattoo of your name? And they were talking to like an older generation, as in like back in the day we don't do that. Now they got fucking face tats and shit. And the comment section was like, "Oh no, this this doesn't this didn't happen back in my generation." But everyone today is like, "Yeah, I'm 17. I got my two year old here." That's a good question. Now that we're talking about age and tattoo, at what age are you letting your kid have a tattoo? When you 18, because I don't it. have any. I don't have so any. At 18, either. you can go. Cause I seen I seen twelve years old kids with tats. I seen now I'll buy I'll buy my daughter like the the stick on ones. I'll Fake get one ones. with you. I say eighteen. But I seen a thirteen year old with a- eighteen and older, and also when you can afford it. Mm-hmm. Like if you're you're not buying it, right? No, no, no. That's what I'm saying. If you're eighteen, nineteen with a job, whatever, and you bought it yourself, then yeah, I would also like. Cause obviously, I have. Fucking fully tatted. I would make sure that the place that he went to was legit. Like not it his wasn't, friend trying it for the first time. Yeah, no, I wouldn't let you pay, or I wouldn't even let my kid. Like, no, I don't care if you're 18 or not. Like, fight me. Where's your kid's mindset if the new Xbox came out and he'd rather get a tattoo while everyone's getting Xboxes? Yeah, I mean, like I said, it's fine. Ta- I feel like those are a, a form of expression. I'm cool with it, but my thing about it is. All those people that you think are cutting you a deal sometimes is not a deal. Mm. You know, dude, this is this is permanent ink on your body forever. So I would just want him to have something that he could proudly show and not be like, yeah, no, nah, I gotta get. So this would you educate them? Yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely, definitely. And I'm and I feel like 
I would be able to because like I like I said, I'm covered in tattoos. I'm gonna get more tattoos. So And you never took the deal? Um <laughs> Nah, because so you're saying all so your tattoos I, I right would now say, are prime. I, I would say it was, it was a deal because it may have not been as expensive as a going to a, a studio to get it done or a shop to get it done, but I saw all the dudes work on Instagram before I went to him. So even though I was getting a deal on the price because he does it from home, and you know, but I was getting tattoo shop quality work for. You know, for less than the price, you know. But I saw all his work on on Instagram, so I knew I wasn't going to a slouch. Wait, like I knew. so what age did you get your first time? Oh, I was in college. I was uh, I had just graduated. Yeah, you wasted no time. I just graduated my freshman year of college, so I was in the I was um, summertime, summertime of my freshman year, going into my sophomore year. Was that eighteen? I got no, no. I stayed back, so I was nineteen. Uh, but I uh, yeah, I got my rib tag. Wait, when did he stay back? Middle school. How the fuck you failed middle school? I didn't. <laughs> my dad, my dad, my dad pulled some know. strings and had the fucking principal keep me back. Pull some strings to keep you back. Yeah. But why? Just cause um, I mean I was a little rebellious when I was younger. I was a little hard headed. Was that a um, lesson? Oh no, most definitely. Is that was what he was trying to get? It was just a little maturity lesson, definitely. Yeah, cause I was say when I was younger, you know. Immature, stubborn, hard headed. You're not mad at you're not mad at your dad now? No, 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 not like I said, I think it might have been needed. I would have graduated high school. If he didn't do that, I would have graduated high school at like seventeen years old. I could not picture the way like even the way my life is now, I couldn't have been picture myself in college at fucking seventeen, just turning eighteen years old. Like I had just turned nineteen and I had my struggles with it. Like that shit was wild. But he caught on to my system. It wasn't that I was like a dumbass. It wasn't that anything else. It was what I would do is I would like do whatever I wanted the first three quarters. But then like that last quarter, I would ball out, ball out. I'm talking a LeBron triple-double, ball <laughs> out in the fourth quarter. And it would bring my averages enough just to pass for the year. Yeah, That's, crazy. that's how good I would do in the fourth quarter, that I could bring my averages up from the first, second, and third quarter enough to pass to the next grade. So my dad caught on to that little system that I was doing, and he was like, yeah, nah. And would you guys be mad if your parents? I mean, obviously, when I was younger, I was My mad. parents were? Oh, uh, left me back? back? Yeah, hell yeah. That's fuck, that's that's some dumb. I mean, Loki, think about it. I feel like friends are everything at that age. Yeah. And you see them go on. They graduate a year before. But you, you know what? But you know what? I wouldn't I wasn't gonna be friends with these. Like I'm not friends with those people now anyway. Not you wouldn't yet. have known but that. Did you know that? Going, when you're a kid, well, I, was, no, I was going to a middle school in a town that I knew I wasn't going to high school in. So it didn't matter to me. Okay. It didn't matter. You to knew me. that I, back then. I, I, yeah, I didn't fit in with the like. My dad sent me to the school because of how much trouble I was getting into in elementary school. So from middle school, I went to school in a town that's not even my town. So, um, I knew I was going to high school back home. Like it, it really didn't matter to me. Like I said, it sucked because it's like, damn, I just watched everybody graduate in front of me. You know, boom, another year of school. This shit sucks. Like, I could have been on to the next grade one year closer to being done type shit. But it, it didn't matter. It, it was for the best. It was for the best because in high school, I was real calm, chill. Like, so you learned your lesson. Yeah, I learned my lesson. I wasn't on dumb, no dumb shit. Like, graduated high school with flying colors. Since we're talking about dads, I had a uh, video go pretty good. Um, and I, I see the comments. So I have a question for everybody. What is a deadbeat dad? A deadbeat dad for you guys? There's only one definition for that. What and is it? the only definition is a dad who does not care to see, talk to, or take care of their child. That's it. That's the only definition of a deadbeat dad. You bitter ass baby moms that are choosing to keep your ex or baby dad, whatever he is to you, from seeing or talking to or providing for that child. That's not a deadbeat. That's you being a deadbeat mom. I talked to someone this weekend that just found out at age 22, 23 who his dad was. Mm. And his dad was down the street. So if you want definition of deadbeat, I'll take that. Someone that's down the street, knows where you live, knows where his ex-baby mom is at, 
and 23 years of that kid struggling by himself that he found you and he still don't fuck with you. That's crazy. I agree. So he knew that was his son? He knew, yeah. That's, yeah, you see that's dirt. I got a friend who just found out while we were in college, his brother is not his like blood brother. It's it's like his barber's brother, his brother, his like barber's son. His mom son. cheated on. Damn, do you cheat on your barber now? I'm Damn. It's his. It's, it's, Wait, it's his barber? His barber's That's son. Like the brother that he thought was, like he thought his barber he, smashed his mom. He, yeah. Damn. Do you go to that? Do you go, his do you mom go? brought him to the barber that he she's been smashing the whole time. Yeah. Clipping so that. so Sorry, me whoever brother that is me me and you are brothers <laughs> we grew up thinking that we're brothers <laughs> he's gonna hurt hey, hey me and you are brothers we grew up thinking that we were brothers and we we're find out brothers. that the dude that yeah, been cutting us. our hair for the last fifteen years hit it is really your dad all right my question hold on my question is do you go back to the same barber and you know, imagine wait is the uh, father still in the picture yes but he's not and old. they were still going to the same barber. What? Isn't the father's still in this picture? So yeah. So so the the father is in the picture for both of them. The make believe father is still in the picture for both of them, but he's only fifty percent of the father. The one. And he, he's hundred percent. He brought them kids to the barbershop for the last five, ten, twenty years. This is sick. <sighs> Damn, imagine imagine you're cutting the other brother and he's like, you know what? I see you like a stepson. I always have. <laughs> now is that barber a deadbeat or he still kind of take care of his kid, make himself look good? He's not, he's giving him cuts. I, 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 I yeah, yeah so he gets some pussy. I don't think he's a deadbeat because I don't think he knew. But I mean, if he knew, oh, he then, never yeah, knew. he's a deadbeat. Yeah, I don't know if he knew. We don't know. I don't oh. know. He don't. I don't know if he knows. Okay. But I'm just saying, if he knew, yeah, he's a deadbeat. If he didn't know, he's not a deadbeat. Like I got a, I got a boxer that just came up to me. I'm like, yo, at my last show, my show was on Friday. You're talking to him. He's like, yeah, I'm chilling, you know me, just being a dad. I'm like, yeah, you know, I see you doing your thing. He's like, yo, I got two now. I'm like, you got two now since when? He's like, yeah, the other one I just found out about, she's like 11. I'm like, yeah, that's crazy. What? He's like, yeah, we're just catching up and shit. And he pointed to her in the crowd. I'm like, oh, shit. That's tough. I don't even know how I would deal with that. Mm -hmm. Like, obviously, I would want to, but like, you can't make up. Like, you, you, like those years. I, I just yeah. think about. I had my son from scratch from the hospital. Like we did the skin to skin contact. I changed you. Like I'm watching you grow. Now I'm coming into your life at 11 years old. I really done miss so much. Like we gotta build that. You don't know nothing. From. Not their favorite color. That nah, what they yeah. like to I eat. I think the first like I the don't know like TV the first show? few years. That's when you bond the most. So it's like damn, they're 11. How the hell do we bond right now? And I feel like kids are kids. So yeah, once you piss off that kid, I'm like. You're you not wasn't my even dad. The, yeah, you're not my dad. I'm like, I hate you. You you wasn't the, you know, and I'm like, damn, like that hurts. And that hurts the most, yeah. And I'm like, damn, like, yeah, that's that's crazy. But yeah. Fidel Duffy done said that to a stepdad before. Would you guys what have you? <laughs> Absolutely. <Definitely. laughs> he said that's how it's first. He didn't even hesitate, but Absolutely. he that shit hit him nah, like this. Nah, I do remember um You're not my dad. <laughs> not, I, yeah, I don't I think I said it. But one time <laughs> I think it was when we first moved and he like finally moved in. I forgot what we were doing, but I stuck the middle finger at him. He got so tight, boy, he threw his shoe at me. But I ducked. I was like, and I laughed. But then me being a dickhead, I was like, ah, ma. Yeah. I was like, ma, he hit me. And my mom lost it, bro. But He didn't hit you. Yeah, he threw the shoe, though. So <laughs> but he I was quick. I was like, I was, remember, I was skinny. I was like, <laughs> a little quick. <laughs> He maybe now I was aerodynamic. Yeah, maybe now you can finally catch with the oh, oh, caught you lacking. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> guys, how do you guys handle someone letting you down? Damn, nowadays. I mean, was there ever a connection? Because if there was never a connection, I'm like, all right. Letting fine. you down. Hmm, that's a good question. Have to be I'm sorry, I'm thinking about this. I gotta go back to that. Why is the mom taking the kids to the barbershop? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that's not our story to tell, bro. No, nah, I'm just thinking, cause yo, I'll be like, yo, if I have a son, I'm taking him to the shop. You see what happens? Dads, uh, take your kids to the shop. Okay, so dad can't be a provider and work and have a busy schedule because you gotta worry about mom Dukes fucking fucking the nigga. Nah, with but the it's clippers. true. If it, I I agree. I have a couple clients, like one of them says she doesn't take her kid to the barber shop because niggas be hitting on like mm -hmm. barbers be hitting on her. So so she makes the stepmom take her son. But like Fidel just said, I'm like, why is Shorty still like niggas are still gonna hit at her? She's cute too. Yeah, so but why would you? 
If it's a hair salon, I feel like it's a little different, like different haircuts, like you know. You send them up for failure. But if yeah, a hundred percent. Yeah, I'm getting my man back when off. she cheats. Yeah, that's crazy. I'm sorry, I just had that. Sorry, <laughs> continue. <laughs> I was like, why is the mom at the shop? Uh, would you allow your shorty to take your son to the sh- barber shop? Um, how is father like, provided? Like, luckily, Isn't that after luck, that story? Luck, luckily for me, um, you know, <laughs> cuts by Jew. That's my little <laughs> His cousin. cousin. That's my little baby bro. Is he but there's still, there's still is the home visit? There. So, so that's is not, it home visit? That's, that's that's home visit oh, okay. for the oh, little man. Okay. Okay. Me, I I I do a little bit of both. I either go to his shop sometimes to make it easier for him, depending on the time. Sometimes he comes to my crib, but for my son, just pop up to the crib. Do your. Well, that's because he knew the, the story. Yeah. He knew the story, that's so he's like, "Yeah, I'm never letting my girl go to the barbershop." Yeah, but yeah. all right. <laughs> you but that go back. <laughs> what about letting down? What was the question? I said, question? "What would you guys? Uh, how do you guys uh, deal with people letting you down?" Situational again. <laughs> yeah, situation. How do you lead a relationship away? I gotta that, talk about best it. Friend and employee. Honestly, I gotta talk about it. I gotta talk about it I to feel someone. Like, I feel like um, I feel like growing up, kids have this innocence where you're super naive, and until you've gotten done dirty, whether it be by a male, a female, whatever, a friend, a brother, a cousin, a, 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 a ex, whatever, until you've been done dirty. You know, then you start to see the world for what it is. That not everybody has your intentions, not everybody has your love, not everybody has your spirit, not everybody has your energy. So, I feel like younger dealing with somebody letting you down is different than older. Now it's almost like expected, unfortunately, because it's maybe happened too many times. Maybe you're just like, you know, that's why I'm team no new friends. Like my little small circle of people that I got, the people that I fuck with, because I feel like those are people who are not gonna let me down. <laughs> nice to meet you. Nope, not you. No new friends. <laughs> so crazy. <laughs> in, in the past, hold on, hold on. I want to answer the question. Can I answer the question? Oh, then answer. I don't know. Can you repeat the question? Go ahead, Poppy. Because I want to answer it. How do you deal with someone letting you down? How do you, you, know, you know how I deal with it? Because Fidel just let me down now that I think about it. Oh, shit. When I went to PR and I came back, what do we have here on this table? Now that I'm thinking about it, oh, shit. my man bring was just in, in PR, came back. You didn't hear it? Where's the pitoro? Bro, we, we, we wanted to buy shit at the airport. We had no time. <laughs> Every, all our time oh, was no. lost. Y'all, y'all plane got delayed three yeah, times. Y'all had more day. than enough no, time. No, we did not. I promise right. you we did we not. Were, we were free? in the plane the whole time. Y'all got duty free? What? Duty free? Uh, I. That's why you don't run on Puerto Rican time and you show up on real time. Nah, we well, showed up two like two hours before. We che- showed up two hours before. before. We showed up two and hours. And if you before. did, then there would be I'll a fucking I'll bottle I'll of I'll pitoro you. right here. Oh shit! I just I, thought about that. We drink it over there though. If it makes you feel better. Uh, yeah, fuck you. Son. I got you. I owe you. I owe you. Um, how do I deal with people letting me down? I feel like I have to calm down because honestly, I like to seek revenge. Sounds sick. I'm like that too. But I'm like, yo, if I'm not, if I, if I, when you do something dirty or something, I'm like, law abiding citizen ass motherfucker. I'm like, how the fuck am I going to get this, <laughs> this back? So what I was going to say before Fidel cut me off was, oh wait, and I got, nah. My dad, my dad had some uh, bad business partners back in the day. And you know, we don't know what goes on in the older people's lives. So we would just think, oh, that's my dad's friend. So I started working somewhere where I was accused of stealing, which I've never stolen anything in my life, and there's no reason for me to steal in my life. And like you said, the revenge thing, I was working at the club. I brought them TVs. I brought them the LED lights. I brought them everything. I set everything up. I did the events. We stocked the bar like with bottles from a different spot that closed down. You know what I'm saying? Everyone knows what I'm saying. But uh, he told everybody that I was stealing from him. So one day I came on my day off. Took my TVs, took my lights, took all my bottles, put it all in my car, and left them with an empty ass club. And he hit you up or what? No, no one understands it. I just did on my own. So you I didn't took talk to what Dean. was yours. That's how you dealt with letdown. Basically, I opened it, like I opened that spot up for him and gave him all my stuff. But they blamed and, him for stealing, and then he blamed me for stealing. So my dad's friend, which is like. I thought it was my dad's friend. He let me down. Like my dad let me down, letting me work with this bum. So wait, he, he blamed really you for st- <laughs> he blamed you for stealing. So you actually went and stole it. And I stole. But my it shit was back. all your shit. Yeah, it was my shit. <laughs> but it was but he basically his back. now because it was in his I know, establishment. But you stole it. And now he had. I left him with nothing. So what nothing did you do with all that stuff? I sold it on 
Facebook Marketplace. You sold it back to him. Everything. <laughs> you should have. Yeah, that for like double the price. <laughs> but that's the weekend happened, and I went back and I said, "Jing jing jing." Flat screen TVs, LED lights, everything, speakers, everything. In my bottles, car. bottles, and everything. How'd you deal with your emotions? You felt some type of way, no? Yeah, I and I talk about the time. I don't do family businesses, friends businesses. I don't. I'm just. I feel like I'm old enough now that I can make my own connections and do whatever I can, and that's why I live here and don't work with my dad. Is that why you don't do family business? That's why I don't do family you business. Just said that. Yeah. No, I don't know if that was like the main. Like, yeah, that's one of the reasons. I mean, I feel like people letting you down teaches you. You have to always take it like a lesson. Take it in the chin. It depends who it is. That's what I'm trying no, to say. Yeah, definitely. Like I didn't, get, I didn't give a fuck about that man, and then he let me down, and I'm like, this isn't even my connection. Like, right. This is someone that put me on to some idiot that I should have never been working with in the first place. I could have been working with this person that made a brand new connection. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's yeah. tough. So to change it up a little bit. DJ, I wanted to ask you, do you wash your head with shampoo or with soap? Neither. <laughs> you don't wash Did you your head? That? I condition my beard and I scrub. I have the little spongibles. And I you put like nothing a, on it? Wait, but so where do, do you, I put anything on my bald head? Yeah. Where do you <laughs> no. stop? Like when you're washing your beard, like do you like yeah, this beard? Do you just wash your front? eyebrows? What? Do you wash your eyebrows? I don't wash my eyebrows. Should I be washing my eyebrows? You should be exfoliating so you, every you don't, you don't piece of your body. You don't wash the top of your head? No. When was the last time? No, I got I got a scrub. I got a uh, scrub spongeable. She said, "Do I use shampoo or or, or, or soap?" Yeah, I don't use body either. wash. No, soap. it's a sponge. It's a it's a soap sponge. It has soap in it, and it yeah, doesn't yeah. run out. Or you just buy new ones. No, it, yeah, yeah. It, it's twenty baths, twenty uh twenty showers. You count them? You keep tallies? No, that's what it says on the marketing, bro. <laughs> Spongibles. Go how buy them know? on Amazon. How do you know? Follow it's me. Been like it's been like the nineteenth. <laughs> so uh, when it starts running out, okay. it's like it, it's a hard sponge with like a. Like a scrubby, like hard scrub side, and that's what and you use for your head. So you can use the soft side to. to I got a question. Where does your Where does your hair grow up to? What you mean? You can see it. I got this ball spot and this ball spot, but I can grow hair around in the middle. Like if like if I was just like, yo, if grow your hair out for a year. What's it gonna look like? It's gonna look like bald in two spots. Completely bald, patchy, 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 completely bald, and then all hair like this. I could do the lineup, like line this up. Have you ever considered like the Tory Lane shit? <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever considered getting like a toupee? What's that? Like that shit Trump uses that like just goes right here. I seen the suction suction one, like the like there's the mass, gel. There's yeah. mass shit now. Mm-hmm. You if you do. if you if you could have a hairstyle, what would it be? I always wanted a faux hawk. A faux hawk. Mm-hmm. Okay. So would you get a faux hawk wig? I almost had a faux hawk once. Yeah, I would do that. Why did you start going bald? <laughs> When did I start going bald? 17. Yeah. I was like 15, 16. That's young. Well, like, a, well, like a little ball spot right here. So like in high school? Mm-hmm. You were stressing way too much, my mans. Mumble drinks. Family business. Family business. That's what gets it, man. I seen you stress this weekend. Yeah. Family business? You. 100%. Family business. <laughs> Listen, guys. I need to tell you guys the scenario first yes, before please. I ask you guys the question. We're listening. Because the question comes from my fire comment. And I was like, wow, did I just say that? So there's a viral post right now on Facebook where an uh, employee asked another employee out that hasn't been out and gone out on a date for the past six years. And hasn't been in a relationship for the past six years. But she decided to ask him out on a date, post on Facebook Tell his story about being single and lonely and hating himself about never talking to girls and posted the whole date selfie and them playing like zombie VR shit. My question is, right? So you guys got the context. My comment was, well, my question is in question form. Do y'all believe feelings hurt more than loneliness? That's tough because when you're lonely, that's a feeling, bro. Like feelings? I don't know. I feel like feelings can be positive. I mean, I know they can be negative too. But in the situation I just said. That could be positive too. But in the situation I just said. Oh, and that's it? I've been single for six Uh, years. Someone takes me out and then posts my life on social media, goes viral, and I'm looking at someone that just Yeah, I just... You see, what I'm getting at is Shorty posted it so she could feel good about herself mm-hmm. right. for doing this nice act. Yeah. So I'm like, I don't, I, I don't like people that do that. You know, like if you're gonna do something nice, just do it because you want to. But Not- I'm saying, like, what if you caught feelings 
and then they're they work together and then he starts seeing you going out with other guys and stuff i was better off lonely at home doing what i've been doing for the past six years than seeing you start dating other men and going out with other men now you're hurting my feelings now i'm getting you, emotional you're saying then she gave him a little bit of hope yeah gave him hope for no reason when he, he was perfectly fine but you yeah. i feel like you don't I don't know. You don't go into something thinking negatively or you shouldn't go into something thinking negatively. So like he probably went in like, oh, this could work. And if it doesn't, it sucks. But that's the thing. Why would you but want that? What did she say, though? Like, like did she say, oh, like, she well, literally told doing the whole this story. once? Yeah, but I'm just saying, does right. she say we're just doing this? Oh, let me take you on a date no, just her, once. Her, her caption was literally like, oh, I just wanted to be nice and took him out on a date. You see, I would never talk to a shorty like that ever again. Like, what you mean you wanted to be nice and take me on a, on yeah, a date? Yeah, because if, if you take me out, if I haven't been on a date, Say I'm the guy, six years, five years, buddy. <laughs> he said, buddy, five or six years on, um, and I go on a date, and everything went well. Like you said, it seems like you were playing zombie, whatever. I'm saying after the day, I'm like, when's the second date? And then you see the Facebook post the next day. What happens? There's no second date. Is <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, this wasn't real. No, I'm saying now. Nah, nah, that be would hurt. definitely hurt my feelings. Yeah. yeah, I think I'll be hurt. I'd be like, yeah. I think once I realize, I'll be like, yo. Do you say something to her? Like, are you like, I would ask like, to get it deleted, at least. I nah, wouldn't want that shit I'll on be like, I'll be, Yeah, I'll be like, honestly, I'll be like, why did you take me on a date or ask me to go on a date? Because no one expects shit to go viral. So you post out of kindness, again, maybe 100 likes, 200 likes. But when 10,000, 100,000 people see it, now you're like, what the fuck? Did you read any of the comments? No, I didn't read the comments. I just said my own comment. I said, this man was perfectly fine single and by himself. And now he may or may not see you with another man and might want to kill himself. What you think, AJ? Nice or? AJ hasn't been single for six years. You guys thought though, right, buddy? Now, AJ, oh, shorty takes you on a date, posts that she took you out on a date because she wanted to make you. What is it? She felt bad for you. How are you reacting to that? And you weren't the light skin that you are right now. What does having to be light skin have to do with it? You got to make sure you got to think that you're ugly. Oh, he was ugly? Yeah, it was a big ass fat dude. Oh, damn. He was like 6'3", 300 so, pounds. See, I that's didn't even, you don't do I didn't even like know that. that. No. Yeah, I didn't know that. Why would he be single and... and, and All right, well, whether you're ugly or... No, that's not no, true, though. because the people decided Because somebody's single. fucking... We, we had a comment that he treasure. said... He was like, yo, 40 is single. Th- no, but it's not just that. Like, there's one bitch that's going to look at you like right now and be like, oh, DJ's a 10. And then there's going to be another shorty that looks at you and be like, he's a negative 10. It's just all about type. So I don't really... I just think it's... That's corny. You're going to take me out on a date and then post it on social media. You took me out, like, for what? But it's crazy. Like, I just wonder, was she texting him and, like, vibing? And then it was just, like, you what know, I'm getting like, from how'd the you story, get that date? I just feel like she was being nice. She said, oh, like, the co-workers, he probably tells her the story. Like, hey, when was the last time you went on a date? I haven't been on a date six years. And then she was trying to be nice. And I get it. That's what I'm saying. But she, why post it? That's what, I think that's what she fucked up. Like, if you want to be nice... I That's like so. the people that like give food to the homeless people. They go and take a picture like of them giving them the food. Like, bro, like you think just the homeless them, yeah. person wants to be on that video? Just give as them a the content creator. On. I will say that those creators get paid with those Not videos all, and photos, and then they get to serve more that's, people that's on the, the street. Only, that's the only one I, I like because I follow some. If no, but I know good. people. People I know here in Worcester, Massachusetts, do that all the time. Yeah, but see, that's, yeah, like that. I can respect that if you're getting like. And then the I, and then I, like, and, and the creators to get more money. And the creators, I see, they're not just giving food. They're like a thousand dollars. They're like, and you're going to the Celtics game tonight. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that's you see, you're giving an experience that a lot they're of people don't. Know. Get that's it, what yeah. I'm saying. Yeah. So well, why can't you do that from the kindness of your heart without posting it? You could. But I'm saying that's how. Okay. But you know what? At the end day, at the end, like at, said, but so. at the end day too, that's some people's full time jobs. You know. Yes. I'm I'm like fifty fifty. And that. who else is giving stuff this game in a thousand dollars? I'm anybody. like fifty fifty with it. Like, like I'm like, saying, yo, just give it to the person. Don't like Dennis Rodman. I guess whenever he used to like back in the day play against the Celtics, he would go to Toys R Us and like basically buy out the store and then go to Boston Children's Hospital and deliver like Fine. gifts and stuff. And nobody knew about it. They just knew him as this bad boy guy, talk shit about him in the media. And he did that shit quietly. And I respect him for it, but the way the media used to tarnish his name, like I would have been like, yo, hold up. You, I'm that guy that did this, this, and this, but I'm also that guy that did this. 
But you and, can't say and that. I, and I consistently do this. Like you can't be the person that says it though. Meek Mill said it. What he said? He when the judge like um, oh she put him in jail and she was oh like, yeah and that song like, was like, free. He yeah. said it and the song was free. He's he like, did, yeah. tell him how we funded all these kids to go to college. Tell him how we you know he was just going. Yeah, but I, yeah, he, but in the documentary I seen he said yo last week I gave out like he was like ten thousand coats to people like free the kids freezing. The judge doesn't see that. Mm-hmm. She's, he popped a willy, violated his probation. She was trying to give him, I think, like 10 years. So. Sick. Yeah, that's why they started the prison reform, the probation yeah, reform. I just think it depends what kind of, like, how you do it. Like, those are, like I said, if you're, like, if I'm handing out coke to, like, the dude I see down the street every day, one can of coke, I'm not going to record myself. Hey, no, buddy. I, I think there's a limit, too, because, like, then they, like, I've seen... People sit there and record, like, let's say, like, back to my example, like, the homeless person eating. They'll give them the food and sit there and record them eating. I don't want you to record me eating. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I feel like that's, like, a limit, too. So, I mean, Next time I see you eating, I'm recording you. You better not post it because I am <laughs> <laughs> He said, charity act. He said, I'll be about it. <laughs> <laughs> so what you buying Some more phone line shit right Y'all just Maybe came back from yummy. PR Where's the leftovers at <laughs> My aunt's fridge oh, yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, So I got a question um, I heard this statement And I just want to know What you guys think about it Uh-oh. It was like Men are supposed to lead And not match your energy Do you guys agree with that Men are supposed to lead Yeah And, and women are supposed to be Submissive enough to follow And not match your energy not even just that. Ooh, just yeah. stop thinking you're Miss Boss Bitch. I'm head bitch in control. And then, you know, that's why you're fucking single. That's why you're single. That's why you can't find a husband. You can find niggas. You can find dudes that just want to fuck. But yeah, you're, you're single and miserable because you don't know how to play your role. What if I don't want to follow? I mean, what yeah. if I don't want to lead? Then she doesn't mask my energy because she's the leader. Wait, what? <laughs> you said men lead, right? That's what, that's it what was you a said? statement. I know, but I'm saying, what if yeah, I yeah. don't want to lead, so she's not matching my energy because I want her to lead. And she takes over. You're eventually going to get cheated on. She'll like it at first because she could boss you and stuff like that, but then when she realizes that you're a simp, a pendejo, a fucking uh, a yes man, and you're not strong enough to, you're not an alpha, she's going to cheat on you. I agree. Because at the end of the day, we are built the way the animals in the wild are built. A lioness is not just letting any lion in the pack fuck. It's got to be an alpha. It's got to be somebody who fought for that position. Talking about animals and fucking. What if I just want to be a zebra? (laughs) Talking about animals and fucking. We just seen some weird shit that I didn't know. So I follow this um, account on TikTok. It's about like um, stories. Of people dying, like they're the cause of death or whatever. So they're crazy stories. Like one of them was, I, I think, a three year old that was literally put into the microwave, I mean, into the oven by his parents. Like it's constant, like abuse and stuff. Another one was like, I think he was seven or eight, and some boys were playing with him and dumped paint into his mouth and wouldn't let him breathe, and he died of suffocation. So the other day I seen one. It was on um, some girl. Why are you laughing? Telling me these stories. <laughs> I didn't laugh. Did I laugh? <laughs> she just laughed. No, 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 no. My fault. So, what in the evil? <laughs> hold on, no. So you guys. You said you ain't ready for this one. So this shorty that has her story was she went swimming and she came across some dolphins and at first she's like oh like they're so cute like dolphins are cute blah 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 she thought it was nothing more than that the dolphins start approaching her. And literally, like, beating her, biting her. And they raped her. She died. So Is it time to laugh now? <laughs> no. no. Uh, uh. <laughs> no, that's the story for the one to get at. That's that. I, when she told me, I was like, no, what? That's I never heard. But no, I told him, I was like, what I've heard. they raped her? So oh. that's my thing. I read some of the comments. And people are like, how'd you know she was raped? Like, was anyone there with her? Blah, 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 blah. But there's a bunch of, like, ways around it. Autopsy report. Was there... Literally dolphin semen inside of her. Like, shit like that. I'm guessing, like, that's what they were looking at. But um, I was telling Fidel, I was like, yo, you didn't know, like, dolphins gang up on a female dolphin? Like, it's usually two to three male dolphins. They will literally go out, get a female dolphin, like, follow her and rape her for weeks until they're done and get, like, over and done with her. But dolphins are, like, horny. And I, then I started, like, Googling. I'm like, yo, do dolphins, like, 
rape people? Maybe humble people. I don't know. Yeah. I, I, I didn't know that. Yeah. No, that's what I was like. I just love I was like, oh, shit. When I heard that, I was like, what? Oh. Horny you know there's girls that, that fuck horses? They are horny. Girls that fuck horses? Yeah. I know that there's girls that like Whoa. have their dog lick their shit. Yeah, I've heard that. Whoa. Whoa. I've heard that. That's sick. We live in a different world, bro. People are getting married to trees and shit, you know? It's like, come here, puppy. <laughs> Wait, oh, you said they lick their shit? <laughs> My man's is wild. Who's wild? My man yeah, said dog licking pussy. <laughs> bro, that, <laughs> that tongue game's probably fire. No kizzy. Yeah, I'm out. Next question. I don't have a thought on that. I'm just saying. Let me switch it up, guys. I think we spoke about this before, but I just want to tell my story after you guys tell me your story. You know, allegedly, sheep have the closest vagina to a woman. Why allegedly. do you know this? What the fuck are you talking about? Allegedly. Tried it? Where did you see this? You tried it? I don't remember where I seen that. No, bro. I ain't fucking no sheep. You tested it out? I'm just saying, allegedly, a sheep has the closest vagina. Yeah, I'm fine. Like structure? Of- I don't know if it was structure, feeling, or what, but they have the. Somebody had to fuck a sheep and Oh, 100%. There's sickles That's out there. Sick. Absolutely. People are sick. People are sick for fucking sheep, but girls can get fucked by horses. No, that's sick, too. Sick. Oh, that's sick, too. That's sick, too. You guys passed by that one. Like, that one no, wasn't I said, that normal. I made a face. Go back to that video. You'll see my face. She said, horses. I was like. <laughs> Reverse back to the video. So, back to my emotional question that I was going to ask before I got cut off about sheep and pussy. Do you guys believe crying in front of a woman makes you weak? Yep. I could see it like as a male perspective where it's like you're not supposed to show emotion. So it looks like you're weak. But like, doesn't that make you strong because you're strong enough to cry in front of her? Or strong weak enough, enough to open to... up in front of somebody, yeah. but it doesn't have to be her. You just said in front of you. Oh, no. I, my question is that. But I'm saying us crying. We, I can cry in front of Fidel. That'll make me a strong man. He'll understand my like what happened. You know what I'm saying? Because we're men. But I don't have to really necessarily cry in front of you. You know what I'm saying? I don't think it makes you. I mean, I don't think it makes you weak completely. Has a man but ever I cried guess in front as, of you? So I always say this shit. I like dead ass never ever seen my dad cry until he got metal stuck inside his eye, and it was literally he was crying because it like it burnt, it hurt him. But other than that, I have not seen my dad cry. What but then it's so I think he's strong. But then my mom's like, "Oh, he cries in like those stupid like romantic movies or, or like in novelas." And I'm like, "Nah." But now that I'm older, I'm like, "Nah, we all have feelings. We cry." So how would that change your perspective on him if you've seen him cry? I don't know. I would. I probably would have grown up thinking men cry. But I grew up thinking men don't cry because I never saw him oh, cry. I would have realized it was serious. Like the, the, when I, if I see my dad cry, it's gonna be because no. of something. Yeah, serious. yeah, yeah. I've never seen him cry either. You haven't seen him? I only seen him. I don't even think he knows this. Um, I don't think I see my dad cry. When either. I was like sixteen years old, yeah, I don't think I see my dad. He went out for a run. He was still, he was still like training. He was still training and boxing and shit like that. And he had like came back from a run. Me and him were like living in an apartment by ourselves, and um, he. I could hear like a heavy breathing noise. So I went to his room to look and I seen that he was like, he was like on the floor in almost like a praying position and crying. And I could hear him crying. I could see him crying. I couldn't see his face, but I, you know how you could tell, like, you know, and I just like, I left him alone. Like I just walked away. I just like, I didn't see him. That was the first and only time. Do you know the reason? I mean, you don't have to say, but do you no, know I, I, I don't, I don't, day? I don't, I'm the only thing I could think of is, um, is life just catching up to him? My dad's so nonchalant sometimes that, you know, shit boils over, boils over, until boils over, and then until boom. So if I could think about it, you know, dealing with, you know, the boxing bullshit and his next fight coming up. And then um, my sister was very young. My sister was probably like, uh, like two, like two or three maybe. I know he had like just freshly got divorced. So there was just a lot going on that I think maybe he had a lot of piled emotions that my dad's not going to talk to you about how he feels. He's not going to talk to anybody really about how he feels. He's kind of just going to go with the flow kind of guy. and He's going to deal with it his own way. You think most guys are like that? Mm, I think for I think I'll, I'll, I'll say a lot of athletes might be like that because I feel like they take out 
not being able to express themselves and and share their emotions or their feelings on their craft when they're training in the gym yeah. when they're playing in the games you know they're able to mask those emotions through that so i feel like maybe that's why we you know like i said i'm i just turned 30 what 2 weeks ago and i never fucking 29 with, 29 with experience um <laughs> One year of experience. <laughs> do, you, do you guys think you could be too busy to cry? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I be, I think we become desensitized to our feelings. At I some don't point. think too. I think it's you're forcing yourself to be too yeah. busy to not deal with those emotions. Oh, that's, 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 to that's not true. think about it. To not think about it. Yeah, absolutely. That's that's a huge thing. But then here's the thing: you do that and you keep doing it, and then when work becomes stress, like I said, it's when you don't deal with something. And that's why I say it's crucial in relationships to just talk about it and uh -huh. get it over with now. Because it bottles up. Because if we don't do it now, we're going to let it slide under the rug. We're going to forgive ourselves for our little argument. But a month, two months later, three months later, we're still going to have this. As something else is going to pop up where now we have animosity for this new argument and, and this old, old one, one that yeah. we didn't finish. So, so when you explode, you don't explode for the current argument. You explode for that one and all the previous yeah. ones. But it feels so good when you cry. Oh, 100%. Because I felt like... And your skin glows after your eyes, everything. Yeah, before I cried. Um, what was it? I told you when I cried. When did we drink? Captain Morgan. You cried that day. I, you didn't tell me. You told that. DJ. Yeah. That was like Thursday. Crazy. No, Wednesday or Thursday. Yeah, but Wednesday. Yo, I never cried and felt so good after though, cause I, I, I was yo. NPR. Bro. Bro, he killed the whole bottle of Captain Morgan. I killed the whole bottle of eighteen hundred. Bro, he was looking Asian on the phone, FaceTime me. And I couldn't even see him. <laughs> but anyways, can I? No, yo, my phone, my phone. I, before that, I was uh, even like when I felt like I, I was gonna cry, I couldn't. Like it's not me holding back tears; I just couldn't. So to finally cry, and like I think in such a long time, and then I felt amazing, bro. But I, I think the, that's the what DJ helped. was talking about when he kept saying you needed a hug and yeah, shit like yeah, that. I'm like, yeah, I give my hug. I'm like, what is this man's talking Did about? You give him a hug. I gave you my hug. And I said that he gave you a hug. I didn't know he was crying. He didn't me, call me. He didn't, either. He didn't call me. I didn't, I didn't cry. Them he call. called you, DJ. No, I didn't call him crying. <laughs> you guys are bugging. Yo, why are you guys so butthurt? He didn't no, call me. Know, we were in the, he didn't call me to fucking cry. You know, it was crazy. We were in the car together. He's like, DJ, I miss you. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, yeah? I just kept saying, oh, yeah? <laughs> he didn't call me to miss this. me. He called Damn. both of us. He didn't pick up the phone, dick. Yeah, I called both of you. You didn't pick up. You didn't call. You called both. It was, yeah, late. Called it was late, bro. It was mad late. It was like two in the morning. Yeah. Yeah. This guy's like, yeah. I'm like, what day are you, was it? I was like, you in the car, bro? It was Wednesday, Wednesday. into Thursday. Yeah. That's why, because I was fucking had work at six in no, the morning. I'm saying, like, but yeah, but nah, I was bro, like, he's in the car full of people. I'm like, yo, what's right. good, bro? Oh. Well, let's talk about this. What? As a man or as a woman? Nah, a woman is a little bit different. As a man, if you have a whole society of men that just find you attractive. Do you ever just sit there and look at yourself and be like, damn, is this something that I give off? Like you attract the anus? <laughs> is that what you're saying? <laughs> I'm just hey. curious. I'm just curious. It's not one male. The page not has two, two followers. I'm going to double it. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, I'm going to double it and pass it on. Man, that's crazy, Society bro. of males. Wow. I hate my life. Talk about it, though. I don't know what to talk about, bro. I just sent to you guys. All right, like, one podcast. So, friendly, so like what? Have, like, so crazy no. Guitar? So one no, podcast. Just, my DJ workout. talked about DJ. No, one podcast. But you do squat like you squat. Ooh. Ooh. Short videos. No. It's the squat. I just post like squat. sweaty after the it's workout, the like just a selfie type shit, and then I'm out. <laughs> How do you pose in your selfie? I'm standing there like a normal <laughs> man. He said they say they say it's the squats for me. <laughs> Are you bending over? They're trying to give up that platero con magu. Hold on, so. I got a question. I've never seen my dad eat a banana. Like, we made choco bananos once, and <laughs> man said no. <laughs> I've never seen it. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. I've never DJ seen DJ does not rip it. We rip it. DJ does not. Hold on. I've never good. seen my dad oh. suck a lollipop. Like, I'm being serious. Oh, so my does, God. does sucking a lollipop make you gay? Like, do you guys eat lollipops? Lollipop? Oh. <laughs> That's funny. It's not normal like lollipops now? It's not normal like... AJ, you eat lollipops? Do you like? Um, 
<laughs> not not recently. Not, he said not necessarily. Not the last two sorry. days, but I've eaten it last I week. Mean, well, well, I mean, well, I mean, will I will I occasionally eat a lollipop? Bro, you eat lollipops. That's it, bro. What the fuck? Maybe, but I'm not, not, big, I'm, not, not I, I'm not a big lollipop guy. Oh, okay, I'm a Twizzler guy. If I get if I like got if I have What's a sweet longer, tooth, homo? So you don't like it hard. You just like it to like fall. Oh, <laughs> you like the flimsy. Yeah, this is. You want to turn them on? You know, you want to turn them up a little bit. You're right. I got you. I got you. Anyways, I just pulled and, my I, and I ripped the Twizzler. By the way, piece by teeth, piece. Right? No, you do not rip piece. it. Piece by piece. Oh, piece you, by you piece. stroke it to the rip to the exact <laughs> location. Cut it up with a knife. No. <laughs> All right. One podcast DJ came here talking about guys in the DMs. Me and Fidel really couldn't relate. But then uh, recently, a whole society of men hit you up. Hit him up. Uh, what and you mean? It was like, like it's a like what official it? society. Oh, it's it official black society. The, the black society. the black gay men society. That's yeah. what the the page was you called. Gave me a fire emoji you watch on my gay photo. porn? No. What's that got to do I'm with just, gay porn? No, I'm, ask, I'm asking. He does. He said he liked tishi porn. He thought it was fire. Oh, she male porn? Oh, she male porn. I used to watch she male porn back <laughs> in the day. But why? <laughs> no, I wasn't. Why did you ask that question? What? If he watches gay porn. I just wanted to see if like there was any like attraction to anything. You think the society picked it up? <laughs> <laughs> they know my search engine and they their, DM their me? senses were tingling. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's the way you stand, it's the way you sweat, yeah, it's the I way you look, know. it's the way you pucker your lips. Curious. They do you, knew. Do you do like a duck face in your pictures? Oh, bro. He does the sweaty. I just finished. We gotta put the picture. Face. So does everyone else in their mama post sweaty pictures at the yeah, gym? Yeah, if bro. you go to the gym and you don't sweat, did you really work out? Did he really squat? <laughs> That's a squat. I just, I just say. What's your favorite workout? Me. DJ. My favorite workout? Forearms. Forearms. Mm-hmm. He's a jerk or offer. I'll take that. Is that definition of forearm workout? Why, why, why the hell would out of all workouts to do? Why would your forearms be your favorite workout? Because forearms the only body part in, that you can actually see. <laughs> no, I can see every body part. You can see your bicep. <laughs> like people in public. In public, they can see your biceps. You don't wear shorts. They can see your shoulders. They can see, they can your, see your chest. Your calves. <laughs> Bro, if you're wearing from t-shirt like this and anything longer or hoodie, you can't see nothing. If you're wearing any shorts or long pants, the only if you're wearing long sleeves, they can't see your forearms either, dickhead. No, but I'm they can see how right jacked now. you are in your shoulders or chest or bicep area. Yeah, but I want these motherfuckers to be huge. But that's my fucking goal. How big? They're small as fuck, dude. <laughs> Sheesh. <laughs> All right, so do you are you guys like cool with your significant other um, calling someone you know cute? No, I'm not cool. Uh, with that. Who is someone? Or I know. does it depend? Like, does it depend? Like, say I don't know, I call DJ cute, or then I call like someone you went to high school. I, I'll be like, you know what? Just go join the black boy society. <laughs> 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 Would it depend how I say it? <laughs> yeah, hello, yo, AJ, shut up, bro. Nothing is that funny today. Does it depend how so, I say well, it? Yeah, you know, it doesn't depend. Are you saying you're like, like complimenting what, someone uh, else? Like, all right, if he was dressed up and you're like, oh, babe, look, DJ looks so cute today. Yeah, wait, outfit, was outfit, it like sure. that? Oh, wait, was that good? Is that good or bad? That, that that'd be fine. Like, oh, yeah, that's like, good. Yeah. Babe, look, DJ's all yeah. dressed up. No, I'm so pay, cute today. I'm like, pay, I'm a, I'm a, I'm that's pay. different. But if you're like. You'd rather say, oh, he looked nice. Babe. Oh, but not cute. I can't. Yeah, not cute. cute. I feel like you're looking. No, but what the outfit's like, cute or something. He cleans up nice. Yeah, that's cool. No, I, I think yeah, I think that's cool. Like yeah, he cleaned up nice. Yeah, but if, I feel like cute is. So like, you can't say cute, sexy. Probably not. Like damn, he yeah, looks sexy. Why would you say yeah, that? Yeah, he looks good. Extreme. I think those are bad. Right, 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 yeah. I mean, would you? But if would you, say, you want? If you would say, you want you know us what? to look at you and be like, Soli or him look at you and be like, babe, 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 uh, tell me this bitch don't look cute. No, he ain't complimenting no one I know. No one. Did you say he worked that out? Forearm? My yeah. forearms. Yeah, if you look at DJ and like, yo, his forearms was looking jacked, I'm gonna be like, damn. That's a compliment. That's bad. Tell him. Cause he just, he just said he, he wanted that shit. Yeah, what if yeah, he was like, what if he's like, what if he's like, yo, babe, like, yo this goes your sister out. looks cute today. <laughs> wait, wait, say that again? <laughs> look at, she went, <laughs> she registered, like, oh, yeah, oh, you and registered like 10 times. You, she was like, you think she's cute? Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> So what's the levels? Because sexy is just sexy. That's too much. Nah, sexy was too much. I'm just telling you. How outfit. would you feel, babe? Okay, no, no, no. hold on, hold on, babe. Your sister we said we said uh, clean up is good, right? You said he clean cleans up, up nice. So yeah. what can a guy say to a girl that's on the? You could say that. I like her shoes. Oh, <laughs> why the <laughs> fuck would we say that? <laughs> you better not compliment anything. Like if she's wearing a nice red dress, you can say 
Oh, I like that dress, baby. It looks better the on you. The hair? Me. It looks better on you. Can't cover with the hair? So if you <laughs> notice her hair, you better notice my hair every time I do that shit. But that's like you don't know. What if, what if, what if, like, oh, oh, you know, that dress looked good on her today. No, that dress is nice. You don't say that dress looked good on her. Today. That dress looks nice. Ooh. If someone, for the first time. So you just asked the question <laughs> that you basically gave the answer to. If, yeah. if he would, if, Bro, why gonna, would he want you on. calling another man Q if he can't sit there and be like, hey, that dress looks good on her. Bro, I'm not asking for me. I'm asking for people out there. Oh, okay. What I'm, I'm saying, saying is, you, so you said, see I'm a us different in breed. sweats and count. shorts every single day for the next six months, and then there's a wedding, and we all put on some, he puts like on a blue blazer or something like that, and you're like, damn, AJ, you know, cleaned he, up, you know, he's, I would got, say he's he looking clean, cute. He, he cleaned up nice. Yeah, I wouldn't yeah. be like, damn, AJ yeah, looks don't cute. Act, you act damn, that damn, damn good. That yeah, damn makes it different, too. Damn, I would not. AJ. Damn. He looks cute? No. I find that normal. He looks good? No. I'd rather give compliments. He cleans up nice. If we're all cool, I feel like you should be complimenting me, because if not... And, and I'm only talking to you guys And no one says I look good today And then I'm, I'm gonna go home Feeling like shit What the fuck did I get a haircut for Fucking moisturize my face Your, force, your forearm $200 fatter. No fatter thicker. No thicker okay, Thicker Thank you Thicker thicker, thicker. Damn My Fat forearms look fat yeah. Thicker thing. DJ you looked good the other day when? As a commentator You looked good Oh, oh thank you buddy See what Compliments do There's no other shorty here I can't compliment them DJ I'm sure there was a shorty. DJ, I like, I, like your, shorty I like your shoes. In, there was a shorty in the crowd. I'm wearing shoes. There, there was a shorty in the crowd <laughs> waving, at, waving at DJ. Yeah? Yeah, there was a shorty in the crowd waving at Who DJ. Who was waving at me? And there was a shorty in the crowd waving at you, bro. Just know that. You know her name? You got her at? We talk about her behind the scenes. She got a baby. Uh, she got two. She got babies. I don't want to hear it. But I appreciate the compliment. What you got for us? Who's, I already asked it. Who's riding shotgun? Your mom or your girl? Whoever's in the car first. Yeah, I honestly think whoever's, whoever's in the car first. Yeah. What if you're whipping your shorty's car? You're with your mom, but you go to pick up your shorty. In her car? Yeah. Still mama? Am I still driving? Yeah. <laughs> so I'm still driving. I mean, who, whoever was in the car first. AJ don't want none of this. I feel like this is disrespectful. I'd be damned if I'm sitting in my back seat. Oh, you should be driving. I, I, I had an old shorty and my brother fight over the front seat one time. And you see, brother? I don't think I'd fight. I'd sit there. No, no. But afterwards, she, I'm going to say something. She literally fought him. Like, yeah. I brought him with me, my whip, to pick her up from work. And she opened up his door. Who's your brother? And it was like, Bobby. Oh, okay. I was going to say, a little, I thought Camilo. Yeah, I thought Camilo. <laughs> I was like, damn, bro, how old is he? But I mean, you don't think your mom would, like, like give up the seat for your shorty? Because, like, for those mom has done that, she's like, here, sit. Here. When they do that, I'm like, nah, it's fine, you can stay. But if they don't offer, I'm like, yeah, then that's disrespectful. They're already offering you, and you're gonna say no. No, I'm like, stay there because they, they have to get out of the car. If I say no, you can stay there. It's okay. Where do but you, you know? Where what, do you though? get the you chance what, to talk you know to? What, though, what's adorable is the level of respect you'll have for that elder. Because I'll give you an example. I was just in Atlanta, and my beautiful Thea came out to eat with us. I was a group of me and my cousins and Shorty, and um, I picked her up where she lives in Georgia. And Shorty did as battled her to get into the front seat. Like, no, no, Tia, get in the front seat. I'm going in the back right now. Tia, no. You're Shorty? Tia, yeah. Tia, no. Get in the front. And I was like, word. Now, I think it depends on the car, to be honest, and the age. Cause so if you guys are both out of the car, are you offering the Tia or the mother the front seat? Out of respect to Sure, her. I'm driving and she's No, you're not driving. Seat. You're out of the car. Like, nah, so babe, go get the car. I go get the car. Nah. I pull up. Fuck and then if you they're guys older, I would. Fuck but that. If, let's, it's, let's, if they're healthy and We they hear this question all the time. Let's turn the tables. If the guy. We don't give a fuck. You, came, but if you came to pick up Fidel at work and your pops is, is in, in the, the front, front seat. seat. My, you see, my dad would go to the back seat. Here, Fidel. My dad would. I don't think my dad would put me in that situation. I'll put my grandpa in the back seat. I don't go fuck. <laughs> that was my question, right? My bad. Yeah. What about I your grandpa? Fidel said I'll put my grandpa in the back Nah, my seat. grandpa would be like, fuck. babe, my grandpa has like, he can barely move. <laughs> I would text him, I'd be like, babe, my grandpa's here. You got to sit in the back. But I'm going to let you know. You don't think it's awkward that I go to pick you up? He doesn't know my grandpa's there and then he goes to sit in the front. It's like, oh, shit, you're here? Like, yeah. I, I guess I'll go to the back. That's how you react to someone's grandpa being here? I don't. Oh, shit. You saying. again? <laughs> His grams again? Come on. Not this guy. I mean, yeah. It's situational. Again. Like anything. 
There's a lot of. Is this the title for this episode? What's it called? Situational, situational experience. Oh, situational. Yeah, situational. Listen, I got one to, to twist it up for the culture. For the culture. Listen, we grew up in a culture where when you go to someone's house, you have to give them a beer or a drink or whatever it may be. But in today's world, you know, people are more healthier. There's healthier options. There's other things we could possibly do besides offering an alcoholic beverage you guys only to somebody. Offered- Alcohol? Like, my house is, is like, there's coffee, there's water. I think alcohol is the last option. What family you come from? Puerto Rican family. Uh, let me go back to this side of the culture. <clears throat> I promise they don't offer liquor first time. You're not offering beer and liquor? Not the first option. It's, it's, it's Captain Morgan? Option. I just think it's part of the options, but it's yeah, not, it's the, not first. the first one. Yeah, I don't think it's the first. It's like, it's in the... It's always the first option for me. Thank you. I'm not saying beer or liquor. I'm saying anything. Hey, you hungry? Hey, you thirsty? What do you got? I got. But I'm not talking well, about that. I got, no, I got, no, I got water, water wait, wait. juice, That's what liquor. Saying, I agree with you. Water juice, liquor. It's the only option. You want? You want? A you want a beer? Or honey? No, he goes. You want a beer? A beer or a beer? Yeah, I might yeah. say, yo, you want a beer? If that's the only thing I'm willing to offer that day, then yeah, yo, you want a beer? But the point is, we come from a culture right, that going, yeah. is offering Who's that we? beer. You're only- they know we're talking about your side over here. All right? no, I'm talking to the three over here we now. We who don't is come we? From that culture. No, who is I we? I do. No. <laughs> How are you guys not talking about culture? My grandmother's what gonna culture? Offer, my grandmother's gonna offer you a meal before she offers yeah, you same. anything. Yeah, same. Well, my family's fucked up then. Listen. So you come so from a culture. I come from a culture. Wait, nah, that's it. Conversation. I'm judging you off of this conversation. Alcoholics. They are like alcoholics. Yeah, that's no, what I'm trying you. to come at. That's Ooh. what I'm trying to say. All right, so you broke that's the generational curse. Yeah, 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 let me ask the question yet. What is the question? Yeah, we got them twice. Today. You guys already answered kind of, but listen. So I come from a culture Get where up. you show up to an uncle's house or whatever it may be. And, you know, they offer you a beer or a drink. Gator. And we're in a generation where, you know, you should be having a water, like you said, a coffee or something. What are healthier options that this generation needs to stop giving the alcohol to these kids? Wait, so you were like five and they're like, you want a beer? Oh, yeah, we were drinking at, at a certain age. That's <laughs> why so your hair fell out. So what if... <laughs> That was funny for them. <laughs> I wasn't expecting it. He hit you with the left hook. We got to do it. <laughs> he weaves yeah. too. He's like. <laughs> I got a question. I hated the comedian tonight, huh? I was, Were I you was ever like, like, oh, you don't have water? Or can I get a water? No, I just, like, the last two, three Cafe years, I started drinking water. So now I'm like, water, water, water. But the fridge is oh, full of room. Okay, so they disgusting. offer you a beer, but you never ask for water? <laughs> I never drank water before. It was just, you go to your uncle's house and you go drink beers with the, all the cousins. Like, no matter what age you are. There was no cafe con leche? That's what I'm saying. Coffee is like my number one problem. Maybe for the, the grandparents upstairs. You don't drink but coffee? That, that kind of makes sense coffee. now. It makes sense why he's like traumatized. There wasn't no queso frito? No, no, facts. Because he thought we were all from that culture. And it's only him. Well, talk to a cousin or a brother or something. Because you guys are definitely the wrong people I'm talking to. But I'm yeah. pretty sure 90% of the people in your fucking family will tell you the same shit. No, but no. there's other options. Yeah, I think family. that was your question. There's Especially water. your food, food gets offered first. And then so the, if we're at a party, it's going to be liquor. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. pick a drink. Any, if, we, if, if I randomly brought you to any uncle, as much as my any uncles party or fucking get drink. No, I'm not talking about parties. I'm not so talking about your just coming over to your house. You go to your grandma's house for Sunday dinner. She's they like, the beers, yeah. she goes, yo, DJ, you want you want the a beer? The first thing. Right after church, you want a beer? Right after church, literally, you get to the house and you guys want a beer? You, you want see, a beer? see, that's nuts. I don't mind That's the beer. first sentence I get when that's I get nuts. to the house. And I don't drink anymore. So I drink my waters. But everyone else is like, yeah. because yeah. you drink so much. <laughs> Yeah, so they could have offered you Gatorade, water, mm-hmm. juice, like anything else. <laughs> so in your in your clean culture of beautiful families, what do you guys get offered when you guys get to the crib? Everything. Everything. Everything my mom has. She doesn't even offer. She says, go in the fridge yeah. and look. Whatever food's being made that yeah. day, whatever yeah, drinks but are available. Family gathering, the food's gonna be you want regardless. soda, water, you juice. You offer people food. You want soda, water, juice, cerveza, fucking chivas. The cerveza part is the part I'm talking about. We don't yeah, want. Yeah, but I feel like, yeah. But like, but I do I, want it. So I ain't mad that I'm getting saying. offered it's it. same. I like beer. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm like, I'm yeah, saying, I give it but to me. We got, at least we got more If options. you don't got what I like, <laughs> then I like what you <laughs> got. I kind of feel bad for you. Like, we get to decide. Like, if we want it. Yeah, I'll take a beer, but like... Facts. Have, when I have, went to Fidel's family party, like, there was Coronas there. Yeah, okay, cool. There was options of beers, but, you know, there was also a lot of options of tequila. Different tequilas. <laughs> but at your house, it was just beer. So that's all you drink? Be- like, your family? Beer? So no, now, it's just, so it's now, just a regular, regular thing to be offered. But it seems and like, I can say no ten times 
but every they'll still day, offer. The, the next day, they're like, oh, you want a beer? But I'm it's like, a different day. You don't know. Yeah. You haven't seen me drink a beer in a year. Like, you it want a beer? You haven't eaten probably like Mofongo in a year. You don't want them but to you don't offer something? It, it's, it's so in tune into if their If DJ family hasn't eaten Mofongo in a year, then we're going out to Mofongo this week. Wait, so do you take If you haven't eaten Mofongo in a year. I don't take disrespect to it. We should go out to eat this week. But it bothers you. That's what we're talking about. It bothers me because I'm 27. Where about Wings Wednesday at Nuestra? Listen, it bothers me. This Wednesday? This Wednesday. What are we getting? Your free Wednesday. Where about Wings Wednesday? Oh, he's not gonna be. Why? Because you're doing a whole video. I'm gonna be in LA, dickhead. He's working. He's working. Listen. Going to VidCon. Now go. I want to know. 27. Started drinking water three, four years ago. I don't drink anymore. But now I'm looking at like my. Don't say you don't drink. You were drinking the other day. Don't say you don't drink anymore. You guys start with me again. You don't drink as much as you. What are you drinking right now? Water. Water. According to you. <laughs> what is that? Can you please tell the people the fake ass water you're drinking right now? Great value purified. <laughs> yeah, shut the fuck up. Now, hold on. So I had a... Damn, what? my question. Okay, so you don't take offense, but would it make you feel My offense comes from I have little cousins that are getting offered beer instead of yeah, that's crazy. offering water. Yeah, you know that is crazy. Or even for the kid kids, they're getting offered soda instead of being offered water. Like I told my niece... Uh, not my niece, but my cousin's daughter... That I'll give you a thousand dollars if you beat me drinking a bottle of water whenever you're able to drink a bottle of water. And now she's drinking water every single time she's near me. She's gonna get just because I made one, yeah. But just because I made one little joke, and now she's determined to drink mad water when she's near me. I mean, but no one else is pushing these little kids well, to drink water except for beer I'm and soda. Happy, I'm happy for you that you're trying to make a change. So that's what I, I mean, say. yeah, be the change in your family. It's kind of crazy. Yeah. Yeah. It's kinda crazy. That's, why, that's why when you were like, we, I was like, that shit will happen. Like, I don't. We get more options. You know what I'm saying? That yeah. is crazy that you... That no, I, yeah, it's nuts to me beer, that you only yeah. get beer. That is yeah. nuts. It's beer. Yeah, it's so. a yeah I mean, beer. just be the change in your family. Because, yeah. like, not for nothing. Like, Fidel's family used to not recycle. I'm a big believer in recycle. All I do is recycling. Recycle. Facts. You and I change. literally, like, I told his mom, I'm like, yeah, I recycle. Like, you know how many trash bags you got? I only have one. And I taught her, I'm like, this is what you recycle. You can't recycle this. She started recycling. Then his cousin started recycling. His other cousin started recycling. And like his cousin's daughter was like, "Yo, who started saving this? Our family. the world one Hell household yeah. at a time?" So yeah. And ten dollar trash bags, so mad bread. Hell yeah! Uh, That's a whole salary. I'm gonna recycle this when I leave. Better. That's a whole salary in, in fucking trash bags in this stupid ass state. So yeah, I mean, just you offer the water. No one else offers it. You offer because mm-hmm. then those kids are gonna know there was at least water. As well as the beer. Yeah, yeah. They'll start offering water and beer when they're older too. Yeah, I feel like I feel like they don't do it out of malice. They do it out of more so out of ignorance. It's just like, hey, it's you what want a beer? To. Yeah, yeah. You want a beer? If you That's if it, you were to say it. no, That's can I get a water? Well, I guess they're gonna give you the water. They're not gonna tell you no. We don't got none. Yeah, they're not gonna you just gotta ask for it. It just the offer is. It's just I feel like if you wanted a water, you would have a water. If I figured I'd offer you something you may not have. Like I don't mean nothing by it when I'm like, hey, you want a shot? Want a drink? Even the shot thing. If you're if we're your boys and you're like, you want a shot when we're just having dinner and I just want to drink my water and have a dinner, then you guys are bad you're taking a motherfucking no, shot. You know, no, I'm not taking the no, shot. No, no, no. We gotta, gotta normalize. No, we gotta normalize being okay with people not drinking. Thank you. Because we do try to peer pressure our friends, and sometimes they don't. They really don't want to drink, and we're like, no, you have to. You have to. You have to. No, DJ wants to drink. He I just, don't. He's just um, going through. <laughs> He's going through a confusion I just phase. said, yo. I'm since, happy right now. I, I, see that. Ever I told you I'm a 10 out of 10. I think that last been a, There's been an extra person in the state. <laughs> he, said, he said there's confused. one extra person in the state. I don't know <laughs> what, what he said. I, I know what he's saying. Bro. I don't know what he's saying. All right, any more question, guys? Or yeah, 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 I have one. What do you guys think is more important? The journey, the destination, or the company? The journey. Wait, what do you mean by the company? Like who you're with. I think the journey. The, the journey. journey. The too. journey. The journey. I actually learned this. I did a. Um, it was for one weekend, and then no, it was for one day. But if you want to do a weekend class, it was like maybe like six thousand or whatever. Um, Damon John, the um, Shark Tank dude. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, black dude. Yep, uh, he did a weekend class on entrepreneurship and whatever. I learned a lot in that weekend. That Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Oh, you did it. I did it, yeah, yeah. It was like I did it. I learned a lot in that one weekend. I probably learned more than I did in a semester of college. But he had said, like, in the process of him making that first million that he ever made, the process of losing it is what helped him get to, like, where he was at today. 
Like that journey right there, you know. So I feel like that journey makes or breaks you. Because if it comes too easy, you're not going to appreciate it for what it is. You're not going to know what to do with it. You're not going to. But adversity is good. Adversity is good. You know, no's are good. Stumps in the road are good because it's only going to make you develop and grow as a person. And it's going to make you appreciate the journey. And then when you finally get to wherever it is that's your end goal, you know, you could think back on that journey and you can appreciate it a lot more. It's almost like there's a saying in boxing, like, um, um, the harder the battle, the sweeter the victory, which like, if I just absolutely dom dominated a dude, obviously like, you know what? Easy. I won. It felt good, but whatever. But if I like literally went in there, blood, sweat and tears, black eye, like really had to dog this shit out and got the win. Those were way more rewarding than the easy dub. I'll tell you guys from experience, I've done the journey, I've gotten to the destination, and I'm at a point in my life where I need the company. And I only care about the people that I'm there or who has followed me and you've needed part company of it. your whole life, my brother. I need what? You've needed company your whole life. And you finally got some. <laughs> you had the fucking the the maid, parents were gone, <laughs> just you and your brother. You needed company, brother. Yeah. So I'm at the point in my life where the company is more important. Company. Anymore? Well, I got a whole list of questions. Rapid fire. All right. What's your love language, guys? Touch. Touch? Like I touch your nose. And you could just touch me. I'm like, damn, she's giving me affection. You could hug me. I go to poke your eyes. Is that like not okay? I forget depends. the answer. It depends, depends how you touch? poke it. Yeah, because if you poke it, like, but if you like trying silly, I'm like, oh, aren't you being silly? But if you're trying to poke my shit out, <laughs> I'm like, yo, <laughs> chill. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Oh, she loves me. <laughs> she loves me not. <laughs> um, yeah, I would say touch. I'm a touch person. I cuddle. Is I cuddle that like your Big only? spoon, little spoon. It don't matter. Um, nah, I don't think. Nah, I, yeah. touch and um, damn, I used to know all of them too. That's what I said. I forgot mine. Touch and whatever the one is like uh, that has to do with taking care of people. Whatever that given. one. Given. Like, I'm a given. You're a giver? Giver. Or yeah, receiver. Like it, but I'm saying given because the bottom or top. What <laughs> the fuck he's saying? Are you asking AJ? He was asking you. <laughs> no, when he looked at me, I was like, We know what DJ is. <laughs> oh shit. It's the bottom or So you didn't get any questions from the Instagram? Nah. Nah, I don't give a fuck about it. Sorry. Fuck them. Nah, my shit is my shit's been booming by it. I haven't checked. DJ, what's your love language? I don't remember. You don't remember? You're like, what do you like people to Touching do to his you? grundle How and his butt. How do you feel the love or the affection from someone else? Or what do you like done to yourself? I've been single for so long. What would you want? I don't Talk to all these lonely people. You just need there. somebody to give them a hug <laughs> yeah. and say I love I'd you. I'd probably be by myself. Nigga. That's it. I don't even care about that shit no more. Next question. I, mean, I think love language is not for me anymore. That could be family I too, right? I like touch. I like, I like reassurance. Um, like Hopefully. spend time with me, dedicate time to me. And then I like when they remember small details, like, or when you get me little things, like, you know, I love Reese's cups or whatever. And you go to the store, you saw a two pack and you share it with me. Like little things like that. I'm not saying go get me a Gucci bag. Like, I don't care about that. It's little things. You know, my favorite, like juices, I don't know, pineapple or something. Say less. You go get it. After this podcast, I'm going to the store. For some Reese's? Not, but it doesn't have to be right. I don't have to remind you. It's like you just oh, never know. mind. Change the plane. It's on video. You just know, yeah. <laughs> you're on pitch. video now. So six months later, like, like, you were just at the Reese's store. Pretty. You went to pay, and like it was next, right there. Next you thought of chatter. Me. Next month's monthly chatter. Reese's all over here. I got something for my baby. <laughs> <laughs> on camera. So, guys, is there a justifiable reason to fake your death? Yeah, yeah. I seen that. I just seen some dude that. Yeah. Right? you seen that? Because he said to that, teach his family a lesson. Yeah, you can't just gather from when someone dies. Oh, okay. You yeah. shouldn't gather only when someone. Yeah, and then he came. Uh, he had a helicopter. Was that? Yeah. Yeah, he showed up in a helicopter. Was like, <laughs> it's crazy. But yeah, I think so. That's OD, though. Imagine, like, the emotions behind that. Like, I just cried over you, OD, and I'm looking at you. What if that shit was fake? Huh? So, what if that shit was fake? The crying? Mean? Yeah, but if it wasn't, like, fake if it was. Right, right. Because everyone, everyone knows you when you're dead. They all knew you, they all had. Experiences with you, memories with you. If you don't have a photo with me, I think a good reason to fake talk. your death is like, let's say I, I'm I'm doing something, I'm not getting a lot of support, 
I'm not getting a lot of, you know, anything from anyone. Um, and I let's say I come up big. Bro, I'm, like not hit the to, I'm not trying to hear it, whether I hit the lottery, whether my business booms, whether my stock went crazy. I'm not trying to fucking hear about your problems now that just popped up because you want some bread. Oh, you know, my favorite nephew. How you doing? You remember the You know, I went through your shows, all the box shows. All the bunk, yeah, all the songs I babysat you. You know, oh, you know, my baby daddy's giving me shit again. You know, he left us with nothing because, you know, that's what's going to happen. So, yeah, I'll absolutely. Let me hit a billionaire. Have fake, you guys ever fake my gotten death. a DM like that when you celebrated something on social media and a week later someone's like, hey, you know, I, I couldn't pay my bills this week. Can you can I borrow $200? And you haven't talked to this person since like high school? Yeah, but I think they're scams. I don't yeah. think they're real. Yeah. No, like an actual, I assume actual that friend. I, yeah, but I assume that your shit got hacked when me I too. get those. Me too. Yo, yeah, yo, um, by the way, can I hold the 100? No, nah, these people did like, not oh, get yeah, hacked. They were asking hacked. me for money. No, I, but I had like, even like with this, like, when I do like good numbers, I have people hit me up like, "Oh, when, yo, when can I come in?" Or like, um, but they won't come in. No, they would come in. I just now you want to come in or like, you or know right. what I'm saying? When like, I was starting, yeah, when I was, you? yeah, yeah. Or like you pay no mind to my my shit or like shit like that. I feel like because obviously I'm not a millionaire yet, but but like say we do get a big contract off here. I bet you you're gonna have people that haven't hit you up. Yo, bro, put me on the show, bro. You know. Which is kind of the same thing when you think about it. That's why I don't fall for that shit. Guys, you... What? I was say you got another. Yeah. Do you guys think forgiveness is for you or for the other person when you forgive someone? Ooh. Both. Oh. Yeah, I think it's both, but... Whether the other person forgives you or not or whether they know you forgave them or not, it ultimately becomes for both because because I forgave you, you're not reaping what you sow. You feel what I'm saying? Like, I'm not coming after you. I'm not on some revengeful shit. So it's technically for you, too. Whether you know I forgave you or not, you know I forgave you because I ain't airing you out. I ain't fucking coming after you. Every time I see you, it's not one of them on-site things. Like That's true, but remember. You guys, so it's, it's for you, too. That's true, but remember, just because I forgave you doesn't mean I forgot. Yeah, no, that most deaf, most deaf. Has that ever hit you guys? Like you did something fucked up, and you know someone ha- hasn't forgave you, and that's like in the back of your head. I never did nothing fucked up. I never. I don't care what anyone says. I really never. I never did anything fucked up to anyone. For me to even sit there, and, so if I had lost relationships for any reason, I really know it's on the other person. Like. Because I'm always willing to talk about anything. Even if it's an action that they didn't agree with and they feel some type of way. All right, well, let me explain my action. Let me explain the, the state of mind. Let me explain the, the, the thought process. And you can see that there was no malicious or, or you know, crazy intent behind it. So, yeah. yeah. You need those people, but those friends that would sit there, you know, and talk about it. Like, Nah, they, here's the thing is people be funny money. They'd rather sit there and tell the whole world about no, that's what, I'm saying. what their Go issue on is Facebook with you. And, yeah. Tell the whole world what their issue is with you then, rather than tell you. Like, bro, I'm my, my phone's open. To, I got the same number that I had since fucking like middle school. Me too. Except if you call at 2 a.m., he ain't answering. He <laughs> works the next day at 6 a.m. <laughs> nah, but I agree with, with what On AJ's the weekends, saying. I will. Because sometimes like people just stop talking to you and you don't know why. No, why? You didn't even know you did something. And they never addressed it. And it's like, we're adults right now. Like, let's and that talk game of telephone it. is crazy. Like, for example, if I whisper something in Fidel's ear and he whispers something in Dominican John's it ear. It keeps changing. And then when time. he whispers it in your ear, it changes. Yeah. So there's some people who will think, oh, so and so said that you said this, but it's, in reality, it wasn't said like mm-hmm. this. And this is not what was said. So you're going off of instant. That's the shit that's like, damn. I would have. That's the shit that makes me not want to fix broken relationships. Where it's like, wow, you actually went with the first thing that you heard. Mm -hmm. As long as you've known me, as long as we've been cool, instead of asking me about it or talking to me about it or addressing it with me, you just, oh yeah, this dude said uh, AJ did this or said this, so this is what it is. Like, you didn't even ask me about it. Yeah, Yeah, bro, and I, (laughs) you didn't even talk to me about it. And remember, it's only gonna be like. There are people that know their story, you know, and those people are going to tell other people, but it's their version, you know what I'm saying? So, 
Have you guys ever had a friend that leaves you every time that he gets into a relationship? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Kevin. <laughs> oh, fuck you, Kevin. Yeah. Whoever Kevin, you are. what the fuck, Kevin? What did you do to him? <laughs> I should hit his heart. <laughs> Kevin. <laughs> Damn, Kevin. So I, I had a situation a few years ago where I appa- still love apparently you, I cock blocked or did something stupid and I made a, a drug joke to a woman that was an addict, but I didn't know she was an addict because I didn't know who she was. Yeah, you bugged. He was in love, and I haven't heard from him in three years. And then last, I think, New Year's, I was like, hey, my boy, um, I'm leaving you behind this year because this ain't it. You, know? you just hit him up and said that? I, that I, text, I text people that. There, there's, there's certain points in your life, even if we don't talk, like, nigga, if I'm down and I need a friend and you might be the friend that's down the street or you might be the friend that's a text message away, or you might be the friend that might be a fucking phone call away, and I, I don't have you that year. Next year, I'm going to be like, hey, man, it's been a great year. Thank you so much. And I appreciate you not being in my life. And I'm so happy you're not in my life anymore. I just hope that joke was really funny. Because What was the joke? I just made a drug joke. Like, <laughs> I know. I hope it was really funny. That's like, all I'm like, I, I hope you're not sniffing lines. Ha, 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 ha. And then later, he's like, oh, she thought I told you about her being an addict and, and doing a fucking, what do they go to when they're crackheads? Rehab. Rehab. And going to rehab, I was like, how the fuck was I supposed to know that? I just said, don't be sniffing lines with the crackheads that are right in front of you. <laughs> I don't know. Is that my fault? I haven't heard from him since. And my boy told me like I, a year he, and a half wait, ago. Is he still with the same shorty? No, it was a girl he was trying to hook up with. It wasn't even his girl. Oh, then. You see, that's yeah, nuts. That's bitch. I've, I've known him since elementary. Yeah, yeah, bitch, yeah. mad Man. bitch. So, You're a simp. Lover You'll boys, do anything bro. for the pussy. You already showed that you can't be around... You can't be around the team. Like I don't care I mean, if you do some shit like that. that nah, fuck the joke. Fuck that. That's not even your shorty. That's not your wife. That shit just got me tight. Exactly. You, you already showed your true colors. You showed that you're not capable. Like, first of all, how low do you got to stoop that you over here fucking simping over an addict? That's crazy. It is what it is. Yeah, in fact, that. you let the friendship. Yeah, yo, fuck him. Yeah, that's mm. nuts. She'll sell your whole fucking your whole crib when you're out at work. For yeah, I cut off, I cut off a few people like that. You gonna come home and your Xbox, your TV, and everything gonna be gone? How you gonna the, feel the that? The lover boys are not are not a good friend of mine. I'm not I'm not into that. Guys, I got a question. When does a stepdad become a stepdad? Ooh. When do they become a stepdad, or when does they become a real dad? Ooh. Yeah. Just <laughs> that. Because they become a stepdad the moment that your mom they step in. Yeah, the moment they step in, the moment your mom step is dad. with that person. When do they become a real dad or when they start when paying they be- child support? No, 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 no. The stepdad becomes oh. the real dad. I know. When do they become the real dad? But they said stepdads can pay child support if you have it. No, nah, if they're taking care of you in a way that a dad if, would. If they had information in court that they, you, that they were being a father figure for years, they can put him in court and be That's charged nuts. as a real father. That's crazy. I just learned that. But what were you saying, AJ? Sorry. I'd be tight. <laughs> nah, just whenever you step up and and... and Choose to be not just with the mother. You choose to be in that kid's life. Is that moving day? Uh, It might not necessarily be moving day. It might be a couple years in the making. You know, because it's a fill out period. He wants to. He knows he's. It's uncomfortable for him too. Just like it's uncomfortable for you. Like, damn, who's this new nigga with my mom? Like, damn, you're figuring him out. He's trying to figure you out. You know, before you know, before you know, you know, he's buying you some food. He's taking you to practice. He might. Drop you off at school or pick you up when you call them. Buy like some Reese's. I need a ride. Yeah, I remember nope. kids. Kids change. It depends what age too, bro. Because kids change throughout the whole time, bro. Yeah. A six year old is gonna be different from a ten year old. Then the teens come, bro. So but we were talking about that. If you find out like ten years later you had a kid, would you take that responsibility on someone that might give you a headache because she's not really your kid, but is really your kid? No, if she's really my blood, like yeah. DNA, she's my blood. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm taking it. That's my blood. Yeah. But if like she's not my kid, no, I'm not taking it. If you're not my kid. Like, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But like if she's like DNA, like she has, we take a DNA test, prove it. You're my kid, hundred percent. I don't care if I'm sixty and she's thirty. I'm uh, I'm uh, accepted as that's my daughter, that's my son, whatever. But please have the DNA test. You're gonna cook up for lot la- for lost time. Yeah, I'll try it, but as the, you can't, you can, I feel like you can never, you know, like we said, you can't really make up lost time, bro, no matter what you do. I'm going uh, to try to live in, in the moment. It's tough. Because you never had I a feel, dad. I feel bad. I feel you, buddy. <laughs> wow. That was a low blow. 
You said that like 10 times in this podcast. Yeah, I could say that. I oh, say okay. Oh, no dad jokes. I'm sorry. <laughs> I can't do the next one solely. I can't do the dad jokes? You can. Yeah, that was yeah, smooth. That was smooth. <laughs> that was smooth. Would you guys say you trust your partner completely? Like 100%? Yeah, I trust my partner that I don't have. I feel like you can never trust anybody 100%. What'd you say? What you laughing at? Him? I think she's laughing at me. <laughs> I don't know. What are you laughing at? <laughs> I forgot he's lonely. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what did I say? <laughs> Yo, AJ, you laughing at everything that's negative to my life, bro. You might be the friend that I was talking about earlier that I might not need in my life. You might get the text message at the end of the year, bro. You laugh a little too hard today. And then he goes on the next week to be on the podcast. I told you the black gay society in private, in confidence, in the brotherhood group chat. Nah, but it's on the camera, right? There's a couple clips, though. <laughs> It was kind of funny. Go ahead, fire me. I wish you would. <laughs> you can't, we can't. You're on the fucking picture. <laughs> it it cost too much. I wish I would get that text. Cost too much money. I'll tell you, you know what? You need a beer, bitch. Suck it up. No, no you'd be like, would you like a beer? <laughs> <laughs> That's all we have. It's my family traumas, guys. Come, Come to my house facts. and talk it out. So, oh, you, so the dad was not trauma? <laughs> Yeah, but you joke about it. I wasn't joking about it. I was bringing my oh, serious shit. situation into the oh, podcast. My fuck, my fuck. Sheesh. Sheesh. So the reason why I went bald is not a joke. Your dad is a joke. That's what he basically said. Yo, who is this guy today? I don't know. I like I like this new agent. It's because he's 30. I haven't made the 30 year old. Joke. Facts. I haven't well, met the That's I why. That is it's 30 year old AJ knowing that I'm gonna clap back on the next couple podcasts. Nah, yo, we need 30. I like the, the age combos. We feeling dirty, all right? Dirty. It's just dirty. What a D? D dirty, we dirty. Two Ds. We about a double Ds. Twenty nine with fire. Twenty nine with experience. You got some fire to close it out. Nah, I got, I got, a, I got a, I got a new way. I want to close it out every time <gasps> now. Oh my god, this is thinking with six heads. The new way close it out with something new. What's up? I want you know because every time I feel like these last mental episodes, check it with a shot. No, we do mental. Oh, okay. <laughs> We're gonna close it with a shot. Too. Next start next week with a shot. Um, That's but not every I every week we try to do the mental check in. But I want to go. Like this, every what's you could choose one a lesson or a blessing that you learned this week. Ooh. Mm. A blessing or a lesson. Oh, you know, I'll start since I brought it up. Um, I got actually both, I think it was both a lesson and a blessing. The lesson was that I cried and it felt real good, so that was the blessing. So sometimes it's necessary to cry and let that shit out. So that was, that was mine for this week. My lesson is sometimes you can take some step backs. So you can continue on the future road that you have ahead of you. I'd say my biggest lesson was probably to not let doubt be your dead end. This week? Yeah. Lesson, see people for who they are. Snakes are snakes, a dog a dog, cat's a cat. Can't give everybody the benefit of the doubt. Remember, sheep's pussy is the closest. I was going to say that. <laughs> he 